Hello traders, this is Forensic Forex with Deontay where we analyze the details and specifics of the foreign exchange market. This video is going to speak on the natural cycle of the forex market and how range change occurs. Let's get right into our disclaimer. Do your own research. My content is intended to be used for informational purposes only. Please do your own research before making any investment or trade based on the information provided and consider your own personal circumstances. You can talk to a professional or do your own independent due diligence on verifying any information that you find on my channel. This is a message for myself, Deontay, as I am not a professional. With that being said, let's get into our lesson. The Forex market is comprised of two natural cycles. These cycles are not just seen in Forex, but all asset classes. Price action shows you the cycles. However, by the untrained eye, you can miss it. You will now be exposed to price action in its simplest natural cycle. Large range. Markets will enter a cycle of large range. Typically, a large range day will excite retail traders. After a large range day, we can often find small ranges occur. Let's look at the stock McDonald's. As speculators of the market, when we look at this chart bear without any indicators, we see the natural price cycle of the market. Do yourself a favor, pause the video and mark off all the large range days. What do you see? Here in red, I marked off many of the large range days. Now I know that there are a plethora of large range days here that you may have marked off that I didn't, but for the video's sake, I just chose these randomly and said that these are my large range days. But when we look at these large range days, we see that there is a signal in the market. There is a clear indication of shrinkage of candles after a large range day. This is a warning sign to us that there is a range change that is going to occur in the near future meaning that the range change is occurring from a large cycle to a small cycle. Now let's look at all the large range days. If you zoom in here, right, this candle is large. It's larger than the last three to five candles. Preceding that is a small range candle. That is a clear indication that the market is most likely going to do what? Not be as volatile or be as lengthy in pips. You can see the same thing here. You have a large range candle and following that you have smaller range candles until again you come back to a large range candle right right here large range large range and then small range and then the candles get bigger again that's what's happening constantly look at the large range candle what happens after it smaller range candles same thing here large range candle what happens after this large range small look at all these candles small 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 a little larger than the last three to five days but look how small these are small 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 large large smaller than this smaller 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 small look how small the candles are getting this is not by coincidence this is the natural cycle of the market large range another large range then all of a sudden small Large again, right here. Look how large this candle is right there. Large. Small again. Small, 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 small. Large, 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 small. In the size of the candle, right? Retail traders will be taught that this is what? Some type of morning star or doji. Large. Large. After that small one, large. And you can see that happens pretty often. This is without any indicators, just using our observations and our eyes, we can see Something's going on here in the market. Markets will enter a cycle of small range. Typically, a small range day will not excite retail traders. After a small range day, we can often find large ranges occur. Let's take a look at McDonald's once again. We're looking at McDonald's once again, and we're going to mark off all the small range days, and then we're gonna observe what we see after or following the small range days. So let's do it together. So let's find, this is a small range day. And we're not going to be too specific in every single one, but we're just going to pick small range days that we see easily on the on the chart. So here, this is one. That's one. And that's one. So I know there's plenty others, but we're just going to go with the ones that we can obviously just see. So let's scroll down to the first one. You can see this candle was small in nature, right? And then... The next following day, the candle is a little larger. 
The next following day, the candle is small again. This is a small candle. And then all of a sudden, we get this large candle. Same thing here. We get a small range candle. And then the next day, we get an explosive and dynamic move to the upside. Likewise here, small ranging candle, small ranging candle. And then all of a sudden, the candle starts to expand. They're not contracting. They're expanding now. We could go here. Small ranging candle. Larger. Almost the same size. Small ranging candle. Small ranging candle. Larger. Larger. Small again. Larger. Small again. Small. Small. So you'll start to notice a pattern here in its natural essence of how the market flows. Small. Larger. It just, it's just larger than that one, right? Move on. Small, large. Small, large. So that's typically what you're going to see by the market. After a small ranging candle, you're going to anticipate in the near future, a large ranging candle. This brings me to the main concept of the lesson. There is a market psychology paradigm occurring in all marketplaces, whether that is cryptocurrencies, foreign currencies, futures, bonds, commodities, and etc. Lesson one to this channel, I speak about all the speculators in the market. We know that the commercial speculators are the ones that control price, and the small speculators, also known as retail traders, are trading within a liquidity pool that exists because of the commercials. They are also less informed in the market. The commercial speculators are doing two things simply, enticing the public with large moves, meaning they are increasing the range of candles to get the public overly excited and invested in the asset class being traded. On the contrary, the commercials are also dissuading the public eye with small moves, meaning they are decreasing and constricting the candles to get the public bored and uninterested of the asset class being traded. With the small speculators, there are two things that occur with their trading. They are chasing price after large moves occur, meaning the large move has already occurred and then they're late to the party. They are now overly invested in the asset class being traded. On the contrary, the small speculators lose focus and interest after small moves, meaning they are searching for another asset class to trade and forgetting about the one that got them excited in the first place. This is how all markets work from a psychological standpoint. If you can understand this simple concept, you're going to be well off and picking better days to trade. Let's look at some currency examples. Here, we're looking at US dollar versus Japanese yen, the currency pair UJ. And we can see that after this large candle here on the daily, so Thursday, November 10th, large candle, the public is now doing what? They are trying to chase price. The small speculators are trying to now short the market. However, the commercials are going to do what now? Constrict the market. The candles are going to get much smaller in nature. So we're going from a large range cycle so a small range cycle, as you can see, moving forward, the candles start to get smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller. They're now trying to make the public eye uninterested of this asset class. They're trying to tell people, let's not pay attention to UJ. Let's look at gold now, or let's look at Euro, or let's look at British pound. You know, this is what they're doing psychologically. The same thing goes for any other currency in the market. We're looking at US dollar versus Canadian dollar, which is the currency pair UCAD. And we're looking at the current price action on November. And we can see early on in November, we get this large candle down. What is going on here psychologically? Retail traders are being hyped into the market. They're being convinced and persuaded into the market because the commercials have now printed a larger range candle. We can even see previously outside of November, there's a small range cycle going on here. And you can see in the near future, you get a larger candle. This is what excites the public. This is what gets them in overly invested into UCAD. Now, whether they're going long or short, odds are once they saw this, retail traders, I'm thinking that they're gonna want to go full margin short. And by the time they get in short, the market is either going to stall on them and it almost feels like the market is against them. It almost feels like as soon as they click short, the market just freezes. And that's what's occurring here. You can see the market gets into a small range, small range, small range, and then boom, another dynamic move down. Now, many people may have been uninterested within this move here of consolidation or holding pattern. Many people may have closed out their shorts, took a loss, or some people might even went long. You can see a large range candle occurs again. And then what happens? Small, 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 small. This is an indication to you that eventually in the near future, you're going to expect a move like this. A very volatile move to the upside or downside, whether it's net long or net short. 
But we know that once we see the market constricting like this on the daily time frame, they are doing that on purpose. This is when you start to pay attention. When you see this, you don't pay attention. This is just all hype. Here's the last example for the video. So we're looking at gold versus the US dollar. We can see that beginning of November, we're in a small range cycle. And then all of a sudden we get this large candle. This is the largest candle we had prior to the last week. You can see price shoots up and takes out all these candles. This entices the public psychologically. Everyone is now going to be DMing each other, going into their Telegram channel, going on trading view posts and forums saying, gold's long, gold's long, gold's long. And then by the time they get into the market, the market does what? Small range cycle. They all are disinterested again here. Now, some may still hold their longs, but majority of people may be psyched out. Psychologically, they may say, wait, it's not going long. It's going short. Or they're selling themselves, damn, I just went long and all of a sudden it's coming back down against my position. I'm underwater. Because by the time the small speculators are getting in long, the move has already occurred. You can see here, large range again, small cycle. Large range, small cycle, small, 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 small. Eventually, we're going to get a dynamic move, whether that's to the upside or downside. This is the simple fact of the market. Do not be a sheep and be a retail trader. You want to be on the right side. This is the truth of the market. This is his natural form of trading. This is his natural way of going up and down, small range and large range. It is all algorithmic and it's all psychology. Do not overestimate the market. They are taking people's money. People are blowing accounts because of this simple fact of not understanding whether the market's in a small range or a large range. When the market's in a small range, what's going to follow? A large range. And when the market is in a large range, what's going to follow? A small range. Notice where you are in time. Are you in a small range cycle or are you in a large range cycle? Should I be trading right now today because yesterday was a large range cycle? Or should I be trading today because yesterday was a small range cycle and I'm looking for that explosive dynamic move? You be the judge. This is a old slide from the first lesson on Forensic Forex. You can see small speculators, the small speculators, AKA retail traders, have the smallest liquidity when it comes to the Forex market. Retail traders have the lowest IQ when it comes to price action and how it's delivered to the marketplace. They do not move price, but can only participate in the shadow of the other two speculators, commercials and large speculators. And we know that the commercial speculators are the one that controls the market. Do not be a small speculator, period. This brings me to the end of the lesson. Hopefully you learned something new today. Like always, I'm going to lead you off with a quote. A banker is a person who will gladly lend you his umbrella when the sun is shining, but will want it back immediately as soon as it starts raining. Mark Twain. Thank you and peace.